hello everyone in this video i will explain how to write a code to track mouse movement in java so in order to get a track mouse movement the interface available in java is mouse motion mouse motion listener so mouse motion listener actually is used to track uh, mouse movement when you move mouse in a area of component to which this uh, listener is registered some particular method will be called so in this example we are going to see that entire process how to implement mouse motion listen a mouse motion listener interface so here uh, first we need to import java event package and then we will import swing package so using swing we will create our gui and let's say first we will define the listener so let's create a class let's say th and in this class we have to implement mouse motion listener interface so this is interface is actually defined uh, sorry declare two method one method is public void mouse mode so this method is called whenever uh, there is a movement of mouse and another method is mouse dragged so this method is called when a mouse is moved while mouse button is pressed so here what we are going to do we are going to define this uh, definition for these method so first we will print something so that we will know which method is getting called so here we will mouse print mouse move event and let's say in this one we will print mouse drag event so uh, while moving and dragging what we are actually interested in we are interested in the location where we are moving our mouse so in order to fetch location uh, there are some method uh, of mouse event class first one is get x so it will give us x coordinate of the location where that mouse is moving and same there will be a method get y so what we are going to do here we will print the coordinate okay so here we will print x and y coordinate where this mouse is moving and the same uh, code actually we will do the same thing in here as well and we will print this code and mouse drag event as well. Now we are done with our listener. We will create another class. So in this class, we are going to define our method. In case if you don't want to create multiple classes, both thing can be done in same class. So what we have to do in the same class, we are going to define a public static void main method so it's up to you actually how you are going to implement you can define you can create two class one class for listener and another class where you are creating your gui for simplicity purpose or if you don't want to write more code you can do both thing in the same class so first we will create a frame we will set size of frame make it 400 400 and then we will set the set default close operation and we will make it exit on close so this is a value actually specify whenever someone will click on close button of window close will be disappear and application will terminate and then we have to add listener so if we see here uh, listener also same class and uh, we are creating gi also in same class so we will add mouse we'll call this method mouse motion motion listeners so here we have to pass object of class which actually implementing mouse motion listener 
So this is the same class. So we are going to create an object of th class. Same. Actually, the problem is that here we cannot pass this because this is a static method and this cannot be referenced in a static method. And finally, we will set visibility of this string true. And we will save this. Uh, let's say we are saving on desktop. We will open command prompt, we will change directory, we will compile this program. So there are some errors. So actually, we actually need the um, string concatenation plus symbol here. And this one. So now it's okay. Again, we are going to compile this program. So now this one compiled successfully. Now we will run it. So here, uh, now if you can see, uh, I am moving my pointer inside the frame, and whenever I am moving, it is printing mouse move event with corresponding coordinate. So whenever I will move my pointer, it will keep on calling that method, and that method in turn will print location of mouse movement. Now, if I will press mouse button, and now if I will move this word, uh, pointer, it will call mouse drag event. So, if you can see, we are accessing all coordinates. So, paint application also works on the same principle. When you people want to draw anything, you have to press your mouse button and you drag your pointer on the uh, print area. So, wherever you drag the location where you are moving your pointer, it will draw one line so in our tutorial we also see how to develop a paint application thank you very much for watching